Hi Virgo, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Of course, the energies can be reversed in general readings, so keep that in mind. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. In today's reading, we're going to be doing whatever comes out. We're going to be doing singles and new love. I will also do past person current issues, and then I'll end the reading with a cross watchers. All of the timestamps are available for you in the description box as well as the comment section, so you can easily navigate throughout this reading. Now, I do want to start with the past person current issues. So if you are not interested in anybody from your past or if you are not currently having issues with anyone, this reading will not be for you. Let's see. What is going on with Virgo and this person? Ace of Cups. What is that? Six of Cups, they miss you. There's someone in love with you from your past. Six of Cups, Ace of Cups. Uh, there's a lot of love this person has for you, as a matter of fact. They're feeling very nostalgic about the connection. Uh, Six of Cups indicates a gift. There's a gift of love that has just recently came in or will come in soon, okay? Ooh, the Empress, Libra, Taurus energy. This person has strong romantic feelings from you. Six of Cups, the Empress, the Ace of Cups. You two are in love with each other. Okay, you're, you're both reminiscing about the past. How does Virgo see this person? You want to reach out? Some of you Virgos may have recently given a gift to someone or you're thinking about it or you're thinking about reaching out, but... You definitely see them as uh, the sun. Oh, my God. This person brings you a lot of joy. You see them as the ace of pentacles. You feel the sun. Now, the empress tells me the six of cups. You guys could have a shared child together. or There could be children involved. For some of you, not all of you. You want a new beginning with this person is what I'm getting. You want a fresh start. You see the best in someone or you want to see the best in this person. Let's see how they see you. Leo energy, Libra, Taurus. How do they see Virgo? This person's in love with you. You two are... So what's the problem? <laughs> um... I'll ask that in a second. How, uh, okay, how, tell me more about their feelings for Virgo. Tell me more about their feelings for Virgo. Two of Pentacles. This person's not quite sure. That's what's interesting to me because the King of Cups, they have stars in their eyes. Okay, this person, they see you as the one. The only problem is they're they're not sure. I feel like this is telling me they're not sure where you stand with them. Why the why the two of pentacles? You this person could feel like you're juggling, okay? Or or you don't prioritize them for some of you, or you wouldn't prioritize them. The page of cups. Someone's not sure if you would accept their love offer, guys. This person wants to offer you love, but they they don't think you'd accept it. Someone could have the sign cancer in their chart, okay? I feel like there's some mistrust. Somebody could have acted non-committal or they'd stepped outside of a commitment in the past or they just acted non-committal. Someone has a tendency to act single. very interesting this person is very focused on their job i feel like someone is focused on their own personal stability or that's something they need to focus more on is what spirit's saying somebody could for some of you guys could be they could be they could be caught up in another situation where they could be financially codependent to it or they're needing to um this person is needing to become financially stable okay let's see so what's the issue? What is the issue here? 
confusion, options. No one, they don't know what way to go, neither do you. A lot of mixed signals, a lot of confusion. This is, this is very dysfunctional, guys. So there's love between you and someone, but issues to overcome for sure. Six of swords. Um, I feel like you both have some type of baggage or one of you does. I feel like the issue is uh, there are so many ways you two could go and not know, not feeling certain on just not knowing the future, not knowing if it would be a waste of time if you tried. The fool. So it's kind of like you two, this is a very interesting read, Virgo, because you and someone are in love with each other, but there's a lot of confusion, a lot of mixed signals, and a lot of wondering if you're going to waste your time reaching out or, or, or you know, trying. The Fool tells me it's almost like you two don't want to be reckless or careless. And I'm getting like somebody here, I, I feel like the person you're connecting with is, is fearing wishful thinking of a new beginning, fearing that they you know, might be misreading your, some of y'all have telepathy with someone. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I know that's far out there for some people, but you two definitely have telepathy. I feel like you guys have opened up the lines of telepathy. Like you two can connect on a spiritual level and you are definitely feeling each other's emotions at a distance. And the full Virgo to me in this reading, it feels like, you know, it could be a dangerous situation, or it's like you guys don't want to be careless. But I'm also, the fool can also be non committal, kind of like somebody doesn't want to jump head first without thinking things through because there are feelings at stake here, and somebody could be aware of their non committal ways. And it's almost like someone in this situation may not want to get the other's hopes up, but they still want to be around the other person. Yeah, there's, un there's no doubt unfinished business between the both of you. Okay. Four of, four of cups. There's uh, things left unsaid. Okay. Thoughts left unexpressed, right? Like opportunities. There's an opportunity that was missed here. A lot of spying going on, whether on your part or theirs. Um, but let's see. Why the Page of Swords? I see communication coming in from someone that you missed an opportunity with, or there's unfinished business here. Someone that there's very little to no communication with the high priestess. Some of y'all, there could be silence, recurring silence between the two of you, or there it has, it has been dead silent. But that high priestess with the page of swords, eight of wands can just indicate the communications off and on. This person wants to talk. Somebody wants to have a talk with you about their romantic feelings. But at the same time, they're like, they don't want to be too reckless or they don't want to be careless. And there's an energy here of being naive. Like somebody here feels like they may be naive and they may be experiencing wishful thinking that something between you two could even last is what I'm getting. You could be dealing with, we have Leo, Libra, Taurus. It could be another Virgo. For some of you, I have Aquarius, Aries, Pisces. Water sign energy. What's this person's hidden truth? What is this person's hidden truth? We will be together again. So you're going to see that this, you haven't seen the last of this person. They have high hopes, right? This person hopes you two will be together again. They can be themselves with you. You know, you feel like home to this person. They have too much to lose and I bury myself in work to forget you. So I feel like this person that still has feelings for you, right? Bottom of the deck, it says I still have feelings. Oh, I am so sorry. I just hit the mic. <laughs> um, excuse that. Sorry about that. Um, they're saying they have too much to lose right now. So... Now, as a reader, I can interpret that in many different ways. This person may have stability somewhere else, okay? Or this is someone that may have regained their stability after this connection. And it's like, they may be afraid to 
become unstable. Like I feel like this connection might have made this person feel unstable because there were so many feelings in the past that they, they just did not know how to navigate through. Like you really have a lot of control over this person's emotional state more than you realize. And it's like, they miss you so much with that six of cups and they're still in love with you. They really try to forget about it. They really, they, they bury themselves in projects. They bury themselves in work to avoid thinking about this because guys, I, I'm going to tell you this person, you're on their mind 24 seven bottom of the deck for what you don't see the hermit, the nine of cups, that's your energy. This person wants you really bad. They want you. Okay, let's take a look at the singles and new love. Give me one moment. You guys can click to the timestamp. Single Virgos, please. Single Virgos, single Virgos. I see you get a lot of, I see you getting a lot of attention. I see you getting also you guys are excelling at the workplace for sure. I feel like, you know, those of you that are completely single and not focused on love, I feel like you're going to be excelling or advancing in your career because you are putting a lot of attention to detail into the workplace but you know you're, you're definitely gaining attention here oh my positive attention people are really attracted to you they're attracted to your confidence there's somebody connecting with you or somebody that sees you or will see you in the future virgo that uh they want to build something with you and they're attracted to your confidence Oh, whoa, all of this wanted to come out. Those of you Virgos that get out and play the field, I, oh, sorry, I just hit the mic again. Um, those of you that are single, I'm seeing if you were to get out and play the field, I see you meeting a Sagittarius or a Leo or somebody with these strong placements. I, I see you able to meet someone is what I'm getting. I, I definitely see a loss of attention coming your way. And the Knight of Wands, this is telling you to get out, have fun. Play the field because you're going to have a lot of potential suitors that come in. Soulmate. There's a great connection coming towards you. Is what I'm getting. A soul connection. Pe courting man, male or female. This is someone that you're not going to have to chase. This person will be pursuing you. Okay, is what I'm getting. Now, I'm also getting a message here. Your angels are trying to guide you in this direction. So pay attention to uh, your thoughts. Like when you get this impulsive, like we have the Knight of Wands, the uh, Temperance. Those of you are going to get this urge to go somewhere. And I feel like you need to act on that urge because there's somebody there for you. There's somebody here the universe is trying to set you up with. This is uh, this courting man, male or female. This person is a, uh, they're, they're well established, okay? And I feel like this person is very mature. They could be older than you or they're just mature for their age. I I'm getting like a professional individual, somebody that has a lot to offer a connection here. Yeah, mature man. So male or female, again, this person is older in age or this is just someone who is very mature for their age. This is someone, their personality is they really like to enjoy life. They like to travel. This is someone that likes to experience things. They love a good experience, okay? So, you know, this is someone that will offer you a vacation. 
because they have the means to do so. Like this person, again, they could be older, but it's like this person's well established and their favorite way to court someone is to say, hey, let's travel. I have the money to do it. Let's let's go on a vacation and get to know each other. Kind of like a honeymoon, but like a pre-honeymoon, one that while you're dating. For some of you, Virgo, there could be a love triangle at the workplace. I feel like this is trying to say, those of you that are in love triangles, you need to give up on that. Give up on the love triangle because you have true love wanting to come in. Some of you may have already given up on the love triangle, right? And you've been focusing on your professional life, okay? Um, those of you, any sort of love triangle, if there's a triangle when it involves love, uh, I feel like it could interfere with your work. So that could be something that you really need to back away from. Now, I'm also getting there could be a choice between you and someone at the workplace when it involves your advancement. And it's telling me that you are going to be picked or you are the first choice here. So really make sure you're putting an effort at your job, uh, my single Virgos, because I, I'm getting like you are being looked at for some type of promotion or raise. There could be a Gemini here that is wanting to speak with you as well, but I'm just seeing a connection coming in. And those of you, when it comes to work, I see a breakthrough in communication at the workplace. Some of you guys, you may be burnt out or exhausted. I feel like you need a vacation. I'm, I'm getting like a vacation from the workplace or something here that makes you feel burnt out. You might need to distance yourself also from, guys, I'm getting a strong message here on distancing yourself, ending a love triangle, not putting any more energy into it. So if that's for you, take it. If it's not, don't. But I definitely see uh, a betrayal when it involves a love triangle. And that's something that your guides are wanting you to back out of. Let's see. When it comes to new love for Virgo, Virgos that are dealing with a new person, Virgos that are dealing with a new person, please. Could be dealing with a Leo. You're not satisfied with this new person? Yes, some of you guys are thinking about disconnecting yourself from a new person. That's how you would know if this is for you. Like you're already seeing signs you don't like. You're thinking about letting someone go, ending a situation. Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. It's telling me something better is out there. So follow your heart. Okay, follow your heart, Virgo. That's your advice. Now, I am seeing those of you that are already experiencing mixed signals or already feeling like you need to end a situation. I feel like if you end this situation, you will find something better. Okay? I feel like if you were to explore other options, you would find something better. But that again, that's for those of you that are just not... You, you could feel ignored by this new person or this new person is showing you signs of being noncommittal. They're not really giving you what you want. And you may even contemplating that you might have to settle... Uh, but the, the fact of the matter is, you know, there's always a new chapter you can begin. There's always something better out there, especially when you're not getting what you want. So I just, I see if you walk away from a situation, that person may try to pursue you with that page of wands. Like, I feel like they're going to try to pursue you. You're going to be stuck tugging at their heartstrings, three of pentacles. They're going to want to work it out. But there's also another love option, another new beginning you could be experiencing is what I'm getting. All right, let's see. Sorry I tend to speak fast sometimes, guys. It's how my brain works. It's like I have to get it out or I'll forget the message sometimes. So thank you for understanding. Let's see, whatever comes out for Virgo, what are the important messages here for Virgo, please? You have a wealthy man that's thinking about you, or, or woman, somebody well-established that's thinking about you. 
you have concerned. They're worried about you. There, there's someone around you that is worried about you, thinking about you. This person could be far away for some of you. Um, specific message, Virgo, there's somebody around you that might be paying your bills. Okay, or they're going to offer you some assistance here. Don't say because it doesn't resonate. I clearly see that though. I also see someone paying for a trip. This person will be paying for your trip, this wealthy individual. They want you to come see them. They're going to pay for the hotel. They're going to pay for the whole thing. Yeah, look at this privileged lady. Somebody wants to spoil you. They can't stop thinking about you. I'm also getting, they're going to pay your bills if you're struggling. I'm, I'm getting like somebody, <laughs> I'm getting like, look at this gift. Okay, you all got a sugar daddy or something. There's something going on here, Virgo, where this person is very interested in your well-being, okay? And I feel like this is somebody that's going to be paying for a trip for you in the future, giving you a gift. And they can't stop thinking about you, and they can't stop worrying about you. They want to take care of you is what I'm getting. Lovers, this is a lover, where it could possibly be a Gemini that is very concerned about your well-being. Bottom of the deck, we have courtship. And then we have Pathway. For a small few of you, there is a family member here. I feel like they're going to offer you a generous uh, gift. Or there's a family member that wants to offer you help. Okay, you may be struggling with something and they're going to offer you help. But I am getting a lover. There's a lover or like this individual that wants to court you. Okay, they want to give you and spoil they want to give to you and spoil you and i feel like if you're facing any sort of issues this person is wanting to help pull you up out of these issues i see a very large generous gift from somebody i also see you guys getting a sugar daddy for some of y'all those of you that are okay let's see what else for virgo please we have pineapple. Oh my Lord. It came out upside down. For those of you that know, you know, you're nasty. All right. Um, I'm just kidding. But, um, so some of you guys could be involved in an open relationship. Those of you that are looking for that, um, that's not the main message. This is some type of reconciliation in your future. Okay. There's honor and respect coming to you. So your guides are trying to show you the way. What is this? There's a misunderstanding that I see getting worked out. You could be facing a misunderstanding with another person. And I, I feel like you two are going to work this out in the future. I feel like you two are going to develop mutual respect for each other. But I'm also seeing recognition and reward at the workplace. Some of you guys, there's an open relationship, so just be mindful of that if that's something you're not wanting to experience, because I'm seeing somebody wanting an open relationship here with you. Take it if it resonates. Be a heartache over what you no longer have. So don't let anything interfere with your heart right now. Okay, I feel like if something feels off, don't do it. Uh, triumph over troubles and obstacles. So I see you getting over this wall. Okay, I see you getting over this misunderstanding. There's a tense situation coming towards you with someone that maybe you had an open relationship with, or this is a third party situation. This person really hurts your feelings. I'm getting like, don't settle for this energy. Because it, it's almost like this person shows you signs of not caring about your feelings, okay? Especially if they're wanting to bring someone else into the situation. I'm getting like a threesome, a third party. Uh, you're not going to be happy with that. Cracked cup. You're not going to be happy with yourself, okay? You're actually going to be very disappointed if you go through with something you don't want to do. That's just a message I'm seeing. We have obstacle and gossip. Some of you guys, there may be people around you, your neighbors or your coworkers, talking about things that you're struggling with, especially if you're open about them. So I'm getting like, don't discuss your problems openly. Some of you guys are maybe some neighbors that are gossiping about what's going on at your house. Some of y'all, there's a triangle. There's gossip about a love triangle that you're involved in. 
Okay, so whether that resonates or not, this is just a big message to not discuss personal things out in the open because it's going to create uh, obstacles in your life, right? Um, it's going to make people think that they have a right to gossip about your life and it just puts bad energy on you, okay, with the control. You'll feel out of place. You'll feel like people have more control over you than they really do. So take your power back by living privately. Keep your dating life private. Communication. I see communication coming in from someone that you've had a third party with or someone that tried to get you to have an open relationship with them. This really hurts your feelings, okay, is what I'm getting. Communication from a third party. Or vice versa. Okay, so cross watchers, take it how it resonates. Let me get a quick second message for Virgos. What else? Virgos that didn't resonate with that. You have good fortune coming your way. Be, be on the lookout for beetles, crickets. Yeah, you may be facing a misunderstanding, okay? Or there's like a, you, you hit a wall, but I see you overcoming this. You're going to get complimented from a stranger. Be, my, be mindful of grasshoppers too. Grasshoppers and beetles are very significant to you right now. I see compliments from a stranger and I also see whatever stagnancy you're experiencing right now. I, I see that. I see more flow coming back into your energy. We have ring. So there's some type of reconciliation, whether it's in business or romance. Those of you that have been struggling with your career, I see some type of good fortune coming that way. Those of you that have been experiencing a downfall or issues with your significant other, I'm also getting like you two working it out. Aries through Pisces, please. Remember to only take messages that resonate, guys. These are general messages for the collective of each sign. Let's see. Aries through Pisces for Virgo. Aries through Pisces for Virgo. If you are dealing with an Aries... This Aries is very stubborn, trying to detach. Six of Wands. This Aries is just into themselves right now. Okay, I don't really see them giving to the situation the way you want them to. If you're dealing with a Taurus, this Taurus is spying on you and they want to communicate. If you're dealing with a Gemini, this Gemini, they want your attention, but they're trying to, they're, they're strategically being distant to get your attention. The Gemini actually wants to resolve an issue between the both of you. If you're dealing with a cancer, this cancer is stubborn, but they're in love with you. They feel a spiritual connection with you. If you're dealing with a Leo, the Leo is really attracted to you. There's a sexual attraction there. If you're dealing with another Virgo, this is over. I feel like due to some sort of betrayal or, you know, just the Ten of Swords, uh, something might have been dragged out way too long and it needs to be over. Uh, this person gave you, this Virgo uh, betrayed you, stabbed you in the back. A uh, very painful situation. If you're dealing with a Libra, they want to communicate. They're ready for a breakthrough. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, the Scorpio wants to communicate. Uh, I'm getting like they're interested in you, wanting to know more about you. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they want to communicate. I feel like the Sagittarius has manipulative ways. Knight of Cups. They might try to manipulate your emotions. Maybe they did that in the past. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, this Capricorn wants commitment. If you're dealing with an Aquarius... This Aquarius wants to be with you. There's mutual feelings between you and Aquarius. If you're dealing with a Pisces, the world, five of cups. There's been an ending between you and a Pisces, but this Pisces is holding on to hope that you two will restart. All right, Virgo, those are your messages. I hope this gave you some clarity. And I do appreciate all of your likes, shares, and subscribes. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, bye.